Wake into battle between two sultans against Marshall and Red, against Basi, against Philip, and against Leonard. The sides are drawn. Oh, okay, so here are the two sultans. Here is Marshall, here is the Red, Philip, Basi, and Leonard. And yeah, it's present here an unbalanced map or unbalanced positions. So yeah, let's see how it goes. Yeah, probably Vasya will get a lot of pressure because he's basically in the middle of all. But I think also he is probably the strongest of these lords, so he maybe can take it. Okay, and the first attacks are coming. One from Sultan against Leonard, and... Okay, Leonard is not attacking yet. Okay, Red is already afraid. Mm, yeah, Philip's Nets are doing a good job here against the Red. Okay, Vazir looks relatively strong for now. Okay, actually, uh, wait, is Lana attacking Sultan here? Yeah? I think so. Okay, here I kind of feel that Marshall is dominating this whole time, yeah? That is really pressuring him right now. Yeah, Philip also seems to be doing relative good. Okay, an attack from this Sultan here. Yeah, this Sultan is really doing, like, relative bad. Okay. Okay, and here are some attacks from Philip and from Vazi, I think. Also, the wet is going off one attack. I am curious who the wet will attack. Okay, attack from Leonard. Okay, now also Philip gets pressure from Vazir. Okay, I think wet might be attacking Vazir here. Okay, let's look at uh, Leonard's attack, and he's attacking this Sultan here. Yeah, the Sultans are probably not in the best position here. Let's see who the greatest lord is. I think the Sultan is the least greatest lord. Yeah, he's the least greatest. And actually the greatest lord right now is Leonard, and then followed by the Orange Sultan. And from the two... Okay, actually Basil now completely ran out of gold. Saving. But yeah, his horse... His horse archers are doing a good job, I think. Okay, the waiters have fed probably because of uh, Philip's knights. Okay, here's a fire by Leonard. 
Okay, actually, the Sultan is attacking, you know? Yeah, it kind of feels that Sultan is definitely pressuring Lionheart here. Okay, but Lennart still has 20,000 gold, so he can recover, but if the fire now should break out, it will be a problem for him. A message from the Sultan. The bond is dying in the Sultan's oasis. Okay, actually, Vazir, these are Vazir's troops here. <laughs> okay, not sure why Vazir is attacking this yellow Sultan here. But yeah, I th think that the next to die will probably be, be the Sultan. Okay, Langard is still burning. Okay, well, I mean, Sultan's attack was just insane, like, insanely strong. Really, unex really unexpected, to be honest. Well, okay, attack from Philip, and this attack looks relative big. Let's see. Okay, the red looks very weak. Because Red was about to attack, so... I guess the next line will probably be the Red, not Sultan. Okay, line that is still burning. The fire does not seem to stop. Okay, yeah, this is definitely too much for the Red here. Okay. Yeah, the fire does not seem to stop. Yeah, it's kind of doubt that Leonard will recover from this. Okay, and the Sultan still survives. But I guess Marsha will probably attack soon. Okay, let's see Philip's next attack. Let's see who Philip will attack next, and I think he is attacking now the Vazir here. Okay, Leonard maybe begins to recover. Let's see if he can do it. Also, Vazir does not seem to be that strong, to be, to be honest. Oh, actually, Lana completely uh, recovered. <laughs> wow. Actually, the Sultan seems also now like much better than before. And the orange Sultan, okay, like 270 troops. I mean, this is a huge amount, to be honest. Almost 300, and also then had almost 250. And yeah, now his economy again is basically flourishing. In comparison, before he was like almost dead. <laughs> and now he's even attacking with a pretty big army. Okay, and he's attacking 
once again the Sultania. Okay, now actually Sultan goes for the attack too. But maybe the timing is not optimal. But Sultan has like fire defense as an advantage, so I think he will survive it. Yeah, the, the fire is already doing a great job here. Yeah. Attack got defended and... Okay, I'm afraid the fire will again spread here. Let's see. Okay, castle. Okay, castle is still not open because of these buildings here. Now the castle is open. But yeah, it seems that Leonard defense attack. But still, like Sultan's attack was like pretty good. Like especially like for Sultan. <laughs> And now it's relatively even between Marshall and this Sultania. I guess Philip will soon make his next attack. And now basically everyone who ran out of gold now. So no one has gold reserves. So if now Leonard's castle should burn, I mean, he will not recover that quickly, I think. If he doesn't have any gold reserves. Okay, now it's a Vazir, like his economy is not working right now, like... Okay, he was he also has no popularity. <laughs> and now Philip's attack is coming. A message from the Wazir. We are weak. We will be strong. This was not portals. I should not die. No. A message from King Philip. Prepare the feast. Our armies triumph again. Okay. Yeah, there's still no clear winner between Marshall and the Sultan. But Marshall knows 200 troops, so I guess an attack will come soon. Also, Philip will of course attack next, and let's see if he will attack Marshall or if he will attack maybe Leonard. I mean, definitely Marsh uh, Philip's knights are attacking Leonard. Okay, next, uh, so turn attack. A message from the Sultan. The bond is dying in the Sultan's crisis. Okay, wow, well, like, what, what's happening here? Where are all Sultan's troops? I guess I... But I'm not sure, like... Okay, now Marshall is attacking him, and all his troops are gone suddenly. Okay, maybe he was about to attack, or maybe he was attacking, and he lost troops in this attack or something. Okay, I guess, yeah, Alain had defense attack, but I guess this will be over for this Sultan here. But to be honest, like, just like a quick moment ago, like, the Sultan seemed, seemed to be doing pretty okay. Okay, now the yeah, swordmen are approaching and this will be over for Sultan. A message from the Sultan. As all must sleep the sleep of the ancients, so must the poor Sultan. Alright. A message from the Marshal. One more bites the dust, eh? What? <laughs> okay, next. Philip attack and Philip is attacking. Uh, Leonard right now. Saving. So now Leonard has to deal with both Sultan and Philip. And this is probably too much for him in the long term. But he definitely made a great comeback before when he was burning. Okay, castle is open. Okay, 
actually they're making it through here. Alright. A message from King Philip. Our armies triumph again. Okay, now I guess everyone is gonna target the marshal here. I see so many knights are always out. But yeah, I think the best odds right now has like prob probably flip here. Okay, actually, uh, Marshall is going for an attack against Philip. Good amount of swordsmen, but not too many, I would say. It's decent, but I mean, it's not enough to defeat like Philip here it, in this position. Yeah, the attack is defended. Okay, Sultan does not seem to be that strong right now. Okay, Philip seems strong, like 250 troops, so I guess he's gonna attack soon. Okay, maybe there's a possibility where the knights will destroy like Philip's economy. But yeah, it does not seem so. He recovers the economy, or like the economic buildings again. So let's see. I guess we can expect infect from Sultan now at some point. He has 170 troops. I think knights are still there. Okay, I think the next attack from Philip should be happening very soon now. Okay, now approaching the 300 mark. Okay, so now it's almost at now over 200. Okay, and Philip is uh, attacking. And I kind of doubt that uh, Marshall will survive this. But let's see. And yeah, also Sota will come at some point soon too. Oh, okay, castle is open. Okay, actually, Marshall defense attack. Surpri surprisingly, I think. And now Sultan is worth like 240 troops. And I guess he will attack soon. Two hundred fifty troops. Okay, still taking his time.
Oh, okay, and finally, Sword One is attacking. And yeah, the size of the army looks relative big. I guess he will break into the castle through this gate here. And he's in the castle. Okay, actually defended once again, Marshall, but now like Philip comes. And I'm afraid this is now too much for the Marshall. Okay, now the one versus one is Sultan against Philip. And also, Philip's knights are targeting the economy from the Sultan. And the problem with the, with Sultan's economy is, I mean, he basically has no economy. I mean, yeah, the only economic building he has is are basically these stones here. I wonder why the knights are not <laughs> destroying this building. Okay, now they destroy it. But yeah, no, Sultan has no economy. And I guess this will be the end because without money. Okay, now King Philip with 330 troops. <laughs> I guess Philip is in this game truly like a King Philip. Like, truly a king. Okay, castle is uh, open. A message from the Sultan. The Sultan is dying when the Sultan is also. Okay, well, Sultan actually survived the attack. But yeah, now he has no economy. And I'm thinking maybe doing a similar battle after this. Okay, maybe. I mean, probably the red was pretty weak, so maybe I will do another, like, Marshall. And also, Vazir did not seem to have much chances, so maybe, like, I will put Amy or something in the middle here. Or if you have other, other suggestions, you can write it in the comments and let me know. But yeah, no, Sultan has no economy. That's the thing also with Sultan. I mean, he, if like some of his econo economic buildings are getting, getting destroyed, he doesn't rebuild them. Let's see how many troops okay, came fed up with 350 troops. Okay, and the attack is here.
message from the Sultan. As all must sleep the sleep of the ancients, so must the poor Sultan. A message from King Philip. Prepare the feast. Our armies triumph again.